hey guys welcome to all of you on our channel that is achieve ias so friends how are you i hope you are doing well so friends as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of uh, upsc civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains so friends we also have a series in which what we do we daily discuss important editorials or articles or opinions uh, that appear in your indian express newspaper so already there are a lot of channels that provide you the analysis of the hindu so what we have decided that we will be analyzing your indian express uh, uh, newspaper so in which what we discuss we daily discuss uh, important articles uh, that uh, that appear in the indian express newspaper so before moving on Uh, uh, i want to uh, you to have a look at this worldly wise which is very important uh, uh, th that is there is more refreshment and stimulation in a nap even of the briefest uh, than in all the alcohol even distilled even distilled ever so this is very uh, uh, notable thing uh, some people think that uh, alcohol gives you refreshment but uh, nothing can re uh, replace a sound sleep or a sound nap uh even if it is briefest so let's start our discussion the first article that we will be discussing uh is national dishonor so this article is in the context of recently uh, released global hunger index in which india has ve uh, uh, fared very poor uh, by, uh, at a ranking of 102 even behind its neighboring countries like uh, bangladesh nepal and even behind pakistan so uh here uh, the thing is uh, that uh, this global hunger index was released so uh, as uh, as of now you might be aware that india's uh, economic uh, growth uh, has been very good uh, uh, in the post liberalization phase that is after 1991 currently though the economy is facing slow down but country's uh, growth has uh, also clocked double digit growth and then uh, it has uh, it has remained uh, quite high uh, but then uh, uh, the biggest failure of the bigger or the biggest we can say uh, the most uh, 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 most uh, abundant flow of indian democracy is in uh, india is unable to overcome the hunger and malnutrition uh, that is uh, that is affecting uh, uh, millions in its country so uh, this is uh, even more concerning when we observe that uh, uh, government warehouses are there uh, 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 in on which uh, in which crops are procured and uh, cereals like rice and wheat are uh, are rotting and then uh, uh, they they are getting wasted but then still we Uh, we are ranked very low in this global hunger index so uh, other thing is in simple words is basically it is uh, uh, hunger is basically measured in terms of uh, inability to uh, uh, or failure to ex uh, to access the required number of calories that are necessary for healthy uh, healthy life so hunger is basically the uh, failure to access uh, calories uh, so it is uh, it is basically uh, uh, because of the reason that uh, enough food is not available but then uh, uh, it is uh, it is a quite uh, we can say objective definition but when we actually look at the problem but uh, when we actually look at the uh, journey and the dignity indignity uh, and the human suffering this hunger inflicts uh, then it is quite disturbing because uh, uh, this is the this is the most intense human suffering because pa parents are forced to helpless watch their children as they ache uh, and as they sleep hungry and also as their bodies and uh, uh, brains do not develop uh, to the full potential do not grow and then also falling uh, as uh, they, uh, seeing them falling ill and uh, also uh, then uh, seeing them dying in front of their eyes so you can imagine the scenario what type of scenario it is it it, it is for a parent to to have uh, his or her children hungry and uh, the, uh, to have uh, to 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 Uh, to unable to feed them and uh, letting them uh, uh, go to sleep uh, empty uh, uh, with, with an empty stomach so it is a quite uh, shocking experience so this is uh, basically a national dishonor so for uh, basic author says that uh, the main two reasons are that uh, uh, national dishonor why we should call it national dis dishonor first thing is that we have a large number of food stocks and we can uh, uh, such food stock can uh, can end the entire uh, hunger that is prevalent in country so but then uh, 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 the uh, but we are not able to do so and even our neighboring countries nepal uh, that has been uh, 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 kind of we can say 
beset by the civil war and then Pakistan also which is torn by the internal conflict they are doing better so second thing that uh, uh, that is that it is a national dishonor is that lack of uh, uh, enough public outrage that must be there and th that must uh, encourage introspection so obviously uh, there is a lack of uh, that uh, that public outrage uh, in, uh, in 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 our discourse so uh, obviously ranks uh, uh, rank of india you know that it is 102 out of 117 countries so four and four in four ways the global hunger index measures uh, uh, this uh, malnourishment that is uh, uh, lack of uh, 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 that is undernutrition that is lack of uh, uh, adequate uh, uh, calories that are required for healthy life so undernourishment uh, is basically the share of uh, population that lives with insufficient calo calorie intake and then child wasting is there and then child stunting is there and child mortality is there so child wasting is basically a thing in which a, chi a child has uh, uh, less weight as compared to his height so this represents acute uh, acute uh, we can say uh, under nutrition and then uh, child stunting is uh, 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 low uh, 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 small height as compared to age so this represents chronic uh, chronic uh, under nutrition and then child mortality is basically uh, it is the death of the uh, death rate of the children under the age of 5 years so all among the all other countries uh, uh, that uh, that uh, that in, uh, that uh, that uh, that have been included in this report so india has the highest rate of child wasting so this is very concerning so india has the largest number of such uh, pers uh, children in the world who have low weight for their height so that percentage has in fact increased from 16.5 percent in 2008 12 to uh, uh, to to 20.8 percent so this is a quite uh, we can say embarrassing and then other thing is that our child stunting rate is also quite high shockingly high and it is uh, at 37.9 uh, percent so uh, the report uh, author says that it is instructive in nature that is it is not it just it just just not, doesn't give us the um, uh, figures but also uh, gives uh, uh, India uh, the way ahead uh, that uh, how we can deal with such problems uh, and also it explains that why Bangladesh and Nepal have searched much, uh, uh, the, uh, much ahead of uh, uh, much wealthier India. So then um, here author uh, uh, highlights that that in the report it has been noticed that the Bangladesh in Bangladesh the growth has been uh, 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 the economic growth has been pro pro poor so uh, when the country's GDP has grown it has uh, it has resulted in the increase uh, increase in the household income as well so of the poor as well so due to which they are able to get access to the necessary food that is uh, that is necessary for leading a healthy life and then also interventions have been made in uh, other sectors that are nutrition sensitive in Bangladesh for example education there and uh, sanitation and health has been focused and then uh, also in, in Nepal in Nepal as well household wealth has increased so uh, average person uh, uh, has seen increase in its uh, uh, earning capacity and then maternal education has been focused upon and sanitation and health as well as nutrition programs have been also have also been focused upon so uh, what what should India do then to at least keep, keep pace with its South Asian neighbors in tackling hunger so uh, as, as we are much wealthier than these countries obviously we must be ahead of them in tackling hunger but we are we as of now are trailing behind such countries so what we, we should do to keep at least pace with these South Asian neighbors so here author talks about various uh, uh, measures that can be taken so uh, the first thing that uh, the, the author highlights is that uh, the irony of a large large population of food insecure people uh, being food producers so it, this is very important so India has uh, uh, a very large number of work folks that is engaged in agriculture for example small and marginal farmers and then agriculture workers agricultural workers and then tenants are, tenants are also there then fish workers are there then forest gathers, gatherers are there so they in the one way or the other they are engaged in the food production but they, they themselves are not secure uh, in terms of uh, food so here uh, authors suggest that uh, it is necessary to that to end the hunger there must be pro uh, the, uh, we, uh, food production must be supported to receive adequate uh, uh, remuneration 
so so these food obviously as our largest population is in case engaged in such services uh, that such services is not such services in in this activity so it is necessary that they get adequate remuneration so if they will be getting adequate remuneration they will be able to feed themselves as well as the population that is depending upon them that is uh, including their children as well as the elders and then other thing is that uh, we uh, we must also take uh, measures to protect the farm incomes because they are continuously dwindling, dwindling and also there must be efforts to uh, efforts on focusing upon there must be direct income transfers to farmers and then minimum support prices must be there crop insurance must be there and then expansion of farm credit must also be there and also there must be a ref there must be a refocus on land reforms uh, and it is called for and a greatly uh, uh, that is uh, this uh, land reform is very important uh, and then other thing is that there must be uh, this uh expansion and effective management of rural employment guarantee uh, program because uh, uh, that is of, of the type of engineering so it must be extend, uh, expanded so that people can have more uh, spending power uh, due to the money in their hands so that they can uh, they, they are able to food uh, uh, they, they are able to feed themselves so then uh, also we must research rural employment guarantee program must focus upon uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the attention must be paid upon, on the land and the watershed development projects small and small irrigation and afforestation so this is very urgent and also there must be fo uh, focus upon shifting to the sustainable agricultural technologies that are less dependent upon irrigation chemical fertilizers and pesticides because this is also leading to insecurity uh, because if we, uh, now we are excessively depending upon uh, uh, chemical fertilizers and pesticides and they are ero eroding our soils uh, soil fertility so production is falling and their incomes uh, the income of the farmers is falling or the population dependent upon it is falling so it is necessary that we must shift towards the sustainable and uh, uh, and ecological uh, 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 eco friendly agriculture so then also uh, while as while giving such employment then uh, it is obvious that author suggested that uh, uh, small ir irrigation must be focused upon watershed development and land development must be undertaken so other thing is that uh, that the author wants to highlight is the job crisis so obviously currently india is facing the highest level of unemployment ever uh, that is highest uh, in 45 years so Periodic labor force survey has revealed that 6.1 percent of the country is uh, is uh, is unemployed. Uh, workforce of the population is unemployed, but this is a very uh, very very we can say uh, a, a distorted number because uh, a lot of people they are engaged in such works in, in which they are not getting adequate remuneration, but they are just engaged in uh, it uh, out of their compulsion. So they are not secure. Uh, job crisis is very much real, and uh, then uh, uh, this entails that labor reforms must be undertaken so that uh, job security, fair work conditions, and social security of all the workers can be ensured. And then other thing is that author suggests that like the rural employment guarantee uh, program that is MG Rega in rural areas that focuses upon village box, uh, there must also be expansion of such a program, employment guarantee program to uh, to urban areas so that people uh, or the youth that is unemployed can get uh, can get employment under it uh, in the urban areas. And uh, this uh, this program may focus upon on building uh, basic uh, basic infrastructure or public services and infrastructure that is needed by the urban poor so for example uh, the drainage system can be developed um, uh, or the sanitation facilities uh, for sanitation facilities can be developed or housing uh, 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 pavements or residents can be developed so that so that the people who who are poor can uh, can then get uh, uh, proper housing and then proper uh, uh, safe drinking water and also uh, also the uh, that uh, the necessary income that they can uh, get by working in such pub, uh, uh, such generation of infrastructure and public services so then uh, other thing is that uh, there must also this should also include employment in care economy for example with services for care child care children and adults with disability uh, so these areas why these are important because uh, 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 most of the women who are uh, uh, in urban areas they are not able to participate due to the child care so there must be such services uh, that must be developed for, 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 for providing proper care to child and ch uh, children and uh, then uh, so that women can come out and work so other thing is that public distribution system uh, should also be uh, uh, should also uh, be universalized 
so in this context the author says that uh, only those persons who are paying income tax must be excluded from it uh, others must be included in it uh, and uh, and, uh, the, and uh, there must not be just focus upon cereals like rice and wheat there must also be focus upon uh, pulse, uh, distributing pulses and edible oils so there must be a de uh, also there must be it is it should be a decentralized system because the dietary needs of different areas is different uh, it depends upon uh, the local factors a lot of regional factors so that if, uh, if, it, if there is a decentralization then uh, then this uh, uh, variety of crops can be procured at the local level uh, local level and it can be distributed so both preschool feeding and school uh, meals can uh, also need uh, adequate budgets and the meals uh, uh, should be supplemented with nutrient rich uh, foods like dairy products eggs fruits so social protection also uh, in, in it necessitates that uh, there must be universal pension for persons who are not covered by formal schemes and there must also be universal maternity entitlements to enable all women in informal work to rest and breastfeed their children so it is a, a vastly also there is a need of vastly expanded crash scheme and residential schools for homeless children and child workers so why it is uh, important uh, because uh, 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 obviously healthy meals in the schools will ensure uh, healthy uh, development of the children and then uh, if there is social protection uh, for uh, for persons who are not covered under formal schemes they will have spending capacity and they will be able to at least ex uh, access the food uh, the required level of food to le lead a healthy life and the universal maternity and entitlements would also ensure that the children who is uh, who is uh, who is feeding on the mother and dependent upon the mother if, uh, he he or she gets adequate food, adequate uh, we can say care and also uh, the mother the mother must also uh, get proper uh, uh, this uh, uh, the proper nutrition so that the child can remain healthy so other thing is that malnourishment is not just because of adequate uh, uh, inadequate food intake so it, uh, there is much more complicated with it that is food is uh, but sometimes food is not absorbed and this problem is basically due to the uh, due to the uh, due to the frequent infections that happen that restrict the uh, that restrict uh, uh, the absorption of uh, nutrients for example uh, when when uh, children drink bad uh, people uh, people drink bad ba bad water uh, having poor quality and if there is poor sanitation and lack of health care uh, there is not much health care that is available then obviously the uh, the the uh, the, uh, the absorptive absorptive capacity of the body reduces and uh, essential nutrients that uh, that can be either eaten but they are not uh, uh, absorbed so this is also uh, uh, an important concern because infections have to be uh, dealt with and uh, these can be dealt with by by, by ensuring adequate uh, and good quality food, uh, water and also ensuring sanitation and also uh, uh, addressing the area uh, the the area of health care so india's nutrition uh, failures have all uh, uh, are also because of persisting gaps that are there because of securing uh, uh, persisting gaps in securing portable water to all citizens so there must uh, there is also open defecation that is going on so it, there is urgent requirement that uh, legally enforceable right to health care is enacted so uh, with universal and free out uh, patient and hospital based care free diagnostics and free medicine so this will ensure that uh, uh, the uh, the body remains healthy and uh, it is uh, it 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 it, uh, it absorbs what it eats. So all of this is not uh, uh, the thing that is unknown. So everything is uh, uh, known to the people. But then uh, uh, the the thing is that uh, uh, India continues to fail its children, born in impoverished households to homeless people and and single mothers to oppressed castes and social groups. So our economic policy author says that is very much skewed towards the uh, supporting the big businesses to the exclusion of farmers and workers so social rights are broken and betrayed so this must be addressed and also there is uh, uh, that that uh, indifference of the people that have towards the journey of involuntary hunger that must be addressed so that people can become more sensitive about this problem and they they can they take they take up uh, at the, uh, this thing uh, to address that is malnutrition at individual level so this will ultimately uh, result this is this is uh, uh, the other thing is that the indifference is basically due to the result of uh, cultural comfort that we are uh, go, uh, uh, that we are entering into with inequality. So our gravest and most culpable it this is our gravest and most culpable civilizational flaw. 
सो दिस इज अबाउट योर दिस आर्टिकल एंड नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल दैट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इज दिस टॉक टॉल टास्क अवेट सो वी विल नॉट बी डिस्कसिंग मच डिटेल अबाउट इट सो इन दिस आर्टिकल द ऑथर मेक्स the point that maharashtra has lot of uh, uh, task to do economically as well as in the terms of uh, uh, tackling agricultural distress and then uh, tackling the effects of climate change so already you might be aware of the fact that uh, maharashtra is a drought prone uh, uh, state um, major parts of it are uh, drought prone and then the recent floods uh, the, it they it affected uh, these recent floods have affected the entire uh, uh maharashtra uh, so due to this uh, the author says that uh, that focus must be uh, on taking adequate measures so the the new form must uh, the new new uh, new government uh, the new government that will be formed it must address such issues that is of low agricultural growth and then uh, then also the uh, the economic mismanagement that has happened due to the large fiscal deficits and revenue deficits and then other thing is that uh, that agricultural uh, uh, agriculture Uh, uh, distress must be uh, must be addressed so that uh, 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 farmer suicides can be addressed and also. uh then maharashtra must also adopt uh, uh, drought resilient practice agricultural practices so this is basically about this article and uh, this article we will not be discussing this is basically uh um uh, article about uh, uh, the a uh, uh, project which is not important from your exam point of view and then other thing is that uh, prince and the pm so this article is quite important so here i will give you a brief idea i will not go into that details because it will consume a lot of time so brief idea is that uh, author suggest that uh, until now uh, the economic engagement be be uh, between uh, india and saudi arabia uh, was limited to uh, the we can say migration of workers from india to to the saudi uh, to saudi arabia and then also uh, the import of the crude oil by the uh, by the by the indian indian market but then uh, uh, as of uh, as of now um, uh, currently the uh, the current uh, uh, um, uh, chief, uh, the sovereign of the uh, saudi arabia that is mohammed bin salman he is focusing upon uh, 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 we can say uh, uh, reform the saudi arabia economy and uh, he is diversifying its prospects so in this context author says that we uh, that, uh, that 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 the india has uh, has a lot to do, uh, gain uh, due to this uh, uh, this uh, modernization of the economy under the prince uh, mohammed bin salman because uh, ultimately uh, the the the, uh, uh, the liberalization of the economy will take place and also then there must be there can be other areas in which cooperation can take place so also uh, then uh, author also says that uh, that uh, the prince uh, of uh, of the saudi arabia is also focusing upon so uh, reforming uh, the society of uh, saudi arabia that is uh, uh, the uh, the aim of the vision of the prince is to to transform saudi arabia into a country of moderate islam so author says that uh, uh, sub indian subcontinent is not quite uh, uh, far from the saudi arabia from the gulf so religious uh, moderation there will obviously have very positive con consequences for india and its neighborhood so uh, india must uh, 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 enthusiastically supr uh, support the, uh, the that uh, reform uh, the so social reform agenda of the saudi arabia because india has lot to gain with it uh, and if uh, if it uh, if, if the radicalization in the saudi arabia or in the uh, in the middle east happens then its direct impact is there in uh, there on india's internal security so uh, india must uh, hold out whole heartedly in this context uh, 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 support the saudi arabia uh, arabia's prince mohammed bin salman's reform agenda so this is about this article so you can read about it so uh, i uh, we will not be discussing uh, it in much detail so basic idea i have given so this is important article so other important article is abandoning gandhi gandhi so this is basically a series of ideas that uh, that have been uh, uh, th that is uh, that th that is released by indian express on the on the occasion of 150th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi so the about this also uh, i will just give a brief uh, 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 idea to you people so that you people can read uh, it on your own uh, so in this so uh, the uh, the author highlights the approach of the Mah mahatma gandhi that is focused upon truth so uh, mahatma for mahatma gandhi truth god and uh, uh, this uh, we can say 
truth and god uh, they, they were same so uh, and also he was very much uh, uh, we can say uh, uh, aware and uh, uh, serious and uh, in uh, so far as uh, acknowledging his own mistakes was con uh, were concerned so he was very prompt in such instances when he when he felt that uh, he was uh, he was going against the truth principle of truth so in this context also says that uh, mahatma gandhi uh, uh, the, uh, the ideals of the mahatma gandhi that is to hold on to the truth and satyagraha and uh, then uh, to the ahimsa and then hold on to the god the path of the god uh, uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, we can say conviction or obsession with these things uh, it is today lacking uh, uh, in 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 today's uh, in the uh, in the in the present scenario in the contemporary world because uh, we mostly all of the in the public life has become so uh, we can say polluted uh, that uh, uh, this uh, entire uh, entire edifice is built on lies and people do not uh, um, uh, own up their mistakes or uh, the misdeeds that they do and then other thing is that uh, people often um, uh, follow the path path of uh, uh, violence and also of uh, we can say uh, uh, lies to to propagate of, to further their to further their agenda so this is basically about this article so you can read about this article also so friends this is all about today's discussion about in, of indian express important uh, articles uh, summary so if you like this discussion then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also friends uh, we have a telegram channel on which we have more than 14000 followers so if you want to be part of that uh, telegram channel then do ensure that you check the description box where the link of the telegram channel is given so you can uh, by joining that telegram channel you can uh, have access to various public resources that we that we have for the purpose of CSC preparation so uh, you can easily access to uh, access them uh, once you join our telegram channel the link of which is in the uh, description box so friends this is all about today's video thank you and uh, uh, lastly do ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day ahead